Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're checking out something called GB Studio. What you see in front of you, this is GB Studio, and this is a visual game engine for creating Game Boy games. And the truth of the matter is, I'm lying to you. This is not GB Studio, even though uh, the help of out says that it's GB Studio, and it looks a hell of a lot like GB Studio. The way you know that this isn't GB Studio is if you come up here to your game, and you say export as ROM. And I'll go ahead and build said game. You'll see down here in my debugger. It will go ahead and compile our game out. And uh, we'll, let this, we'll let this run its course. And this is going to see the first sign that this actually is not GB Studio. This is BB Studio. Now, as far as I can tell, BB Studio stands for Big Brother. But I'm not sure about that. But what you'll notice here is it generated our game ROM. And you'll notice that extension, .NES, as in Nintendo Entertainment System. So what this is, BB Studio is a hacked version of GB Studio, which is an open source project. So it's not hacked in that sense. It's hacked as in, uh, they hacked the ability to create Nintendo games. So traditionally with GB Studio, you can only build Game Boy Color uh, and traditional Game Boy games. Now you can actually build NES games. So here you can see our generator ROM game.NES, which is obviously built off of this guy over here and let's go ahead there is a special nintendo emulator called messin that has a build for it specifically for uh this uh version i will just take our nest game over here drop it on our messin executable and here is our game so this is the game that game boy studio created but the thing is this is a nintendo rom so if you wanted to burn this to a cart you could burn this to a cart let's go ahead we'll create a new game and uh you're going to notice some issues. The color palettes are not always wonderful. There are some conditions we'll get to. But here you see, welcome to BB Studio. Uh, do not feed the elephant. This is an anti-dropout diet. Da, 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 da. All right, what's BB Studio? Well, I'm glad you asked. BB Studio is a heavily hacked version of the popular GB Studio. It allows you to export your Game Boy Color games to the Game Boy's big brother, the Nintendo Entertainment System aka Famicom, Dendi, Pegasus, etc. Just like GB Studio, it is multi-OS, Windows and Linux, free and open source, and easy for everyone to make games with. Uh, make games with visual scripting, no programming skills needed. BB Studio is still a bit rough around the edges, so stay tuned for more updates. So yeah, that is BB Studio in a nutshell. By the way, you can make a variety of games. Like here, we go into this room, and you got a first-person style game where you can navigate around the world, and so on. Or I come back here to the exit, exit back out, and we keep navigating our world. I don't want to talk to you. Ah. I don't know if I can just go by everybody or if I actually have to do this level to get to the next part. Let's move on to so the next part of our level. And it gives you an idea. So now you've got the top-down uh, original Zelda-style game here. And again, rooms you can go into. There is sound. Um, and here, sound effects, drum kit, and so on. So that gives you the idea of the types of games that you can create with GB Studio. But the big difference is now with this new BB Studio, you can build them for the NES. Again, all it takes, build, export as, ROM. You've also got the ability to burn that to a cart, but you do have to use a special version of the emulator for now. So first off, if you want to learn more about GB Studio, it is available at gbstudio.dev. I've actually covered this in previous videos, so I'm not going to get into GB Studio very often. All I want to say is it's a hell of a lot of fun. Um, it's easy to use, completely visual world oriented. You can build ROMs. There is a music player in there. You can build multiple types of games as we saw in action. It is a really cool free project. I would highly recommend going ahead to check it out. But if you ever found yourself using GB Studio going, God, I wish I could make Nintendo games or this, like NES games. Well, that is where the BB Studio project kicks in. Again, it's MIT licensed open source project. Uh, it has been very actively developed. It looks like it's been under works for uh, a very long time since this was first forked. So it looks like six years ago this project first started. But it is a quick and easy to use drag and drop retro game creator for creating for your video favorite video game system. That is a straight clone from it. Uh, but BB Studio drag and drop game creator for the NES family comp. So here you can see a BB Studio game running directly on a real NES. 
So details of it here, there are uh, downloadable versions of it available. For some reason, it includes the binaries for GB Studio as well. I don't know why. It makes it like a 400 megabyte download if you go there. Um, it's available on the release page for Windows 64 and Linux 64. Uh, some of the details are here how to use it. So you would start with your Game Boy Color game uh, to make them run well on the NES. Uh, you have more screen space available, 256 by 240 pixels instead of 160 by 144. Uh, the edges of the screen will be partly cropped on a real TV. This varies depending on the TV model. You can only use half the number of background and sprite palettes in a scene for now. NES uh, background palettes also require the first color to be the same across all four background palettes. Typically, black is a good choice for the shared background color, but your mileage may vary. The exception is palette 7. This is only used for the UI and has four unique colors. The NES has a limited number of total colors, and the RGB colors entered in the UI will automatically convert it to NES colors when building. This may be somewhat off from what you intended. The next version will have an option for specifying NES colors directly to remove the guessworks of RGB to NES color mapping. The NES graphics strip allows much fewer sprite scan lines than the Game, game Boy Game Boy Color, so you need to be more frugal replacing sprites on the same horizontal line. So yeah, so if you were thinking that you were going to have all this extra power because you were developing for the NES, instead of the Game Boy. <laughs> no, it's the other way around, except for you have more pixels. And the 6502, which is the chip that was used in basically every single 8-bit machine, uh, along with the Z-Log Z80, um, may struggle to keep up with the double-clocked Game Boy Color CPU. If your game already tends to lag when running in monochrome DMG mode, it will probably struggle on the NES as well. So yeah, I believe the Game Boy Color's uh, 6502 had... Two gigahertz, I'm oh, sorry, two megahertz runtime clock, whereas the the NES had 1.2 or something like that. There are uh, a ton of different speed 6502s out there in the world, by the way. Details on creating your project, some of the details you need to know, how to run your game. Again, there is a custom version of the Messin emulator available for download. That's what you saw in action in this video in earlier on. And then here you can see how to put your um, your stuff onto a cartridge if you wish. So a new open source project. Uh, this is really all there is. So there is this page with those details. And it is, again, a hacked version of GB Studio, which, again, is an open source project, also MIT licensed, uh, which is a wonderful tool for creating Game Boy style games. Even if you're not really interested in creating Game Boy games, this is a great little game engine for just playing around, for doing jams, that kind of stuff. So I would highly recommend actually going ahead and checking out GB Studio. And if you've already used GB Studio, but you want to build for the NES, you can then fire up BB Studio. Now, one thing I did find uh, when I first fired up BB Studio is it actually loaded up the same projects from that I'd created earlier on in GB Studio. So if you just want to build for NES, you could probably just open up your GB Studio, port the colors so that they work correctly between the things, correct for the speed differences, and then just build for the other system using BB Studio. So uh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, if you know the reason behind the name, BB, again, I think stands for Big Brother, but if there's another reason for that, do let me know, comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. So yeah, that is BB Studio, a IDE for making games using a visual creation tool bit on top of GB Studio. GB Studio, an awesome product I highly recommend that you check out. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.